Victor Sant, your scripts certainly have a lot of useful purposes, but we just can't seem to get them to work. Like this simple fog and overlay script. Victor scripts, elude us no longer. Hello, once again everybody, this is your friendly neighborhood passive line here with another quick tip. This quick tip is on Victor's uh, fog and overlay script. Thank you to Whataface2 for suggesting that I uh, make this tutorial or this uh, quick tip on Victor's fog and overlay. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, first thing you want to do is of course download the script from Victor's site. So you can go and find that at victorscripts.wordpress.com and then go to Complete Scripts, VX Ace, Field Scripts, Fog and Overlay. And here it is. So you're going to want to go ahead and download that. Make sure that you have Victor's basic module installed uh, as it will be required to run this. Uh, okay, so I already have that loaded into this project here, into uh, Meta Alpha Imperative. And uh, you can see that here amidst all my other massive scripts. Uh, and here it is. So there really isn't anything you need to do to uh, to set this script up. It kind of runs on its own. Uh, the only thing you need to know how to do is how to work the uh, the note tags for the maps. So that way you can actually get something to appear. Uh, first things first though, you need to have uh, an image for the fog. And so the image that I'm using for the fog, uh, I pulled um, online. Uh, and this is the image that I used, uh, so keep this in mind, guys. When you want to use Victor's Fog and Overlay, you've got to go into your Games Project folder, you've got to go into the Graphics, and you've got to create a brand new folder in here titled Fogs. Uh, once you create that new folder, you're going to place your Fog images inside there. Now, paying attention to this guy here, uh, the Fog image that I'm using is this one right here, which is 001-Fog01. Uh, it can be named anything you want. Uh, you just have to tell the script through the note tags which one you're using. So whatever your fog picture is, you put it in this folder. Uh, and remember what it's named. Then you go back into your game, and you find the map that you want to use the fog in. And so, for example, I want to use it in this uh, sequence that you saw in the beginning of the video. So you go under Map Properties, and right here in this note box, let me go ahead and zoom this in for you guys. Right here in this note box is where you set up your tags. And so right here, this is really all the information you need. Uh, you're going to open it up here with this line, fog effect, ID 1, uh, name, and this is where you type in whatever the name is of your fog file. Uh, then you set its opacity, how much you want to, be, how visible you want it. And then you do slash fog effect, and there it is, and you close it off. Now, if you want the fog to move, uh, like I like I had it moving in the beginning, uh, you set up this little note tag right here: fog move one colon three uh, comma zero, and close that off. And that's a simple slow motion. And you can customize that any which way you want by changing some of these values and playing around with it. It's completely up to you how you guys want to do that. Um, and that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, this. This really is actually one of my first real quick tips. It was actually pretty uh, simple to do. Uh, it just keep in mind that, you know, if you ever want to change anything, uh, just refer back to Victor's scripts right here, and he tells you all the kinds of note tags you can use and input into it and customize it any which way you want. Uh, movement and even changing um, how the fog's opacity over time and kind of animating that. Uh, there really is quite a lot you can do with it. Um, so, all right, there we go. Once again, thanks to Whataface2 for the comment and suggestion. And again, this is something all of you guys can do, too, so make sure to leave a comment below if you think there's something else I should do a tutorial on or a quick tip. Um, and also, don't forget to subscribe and to rate the video and give a like. This has been your Friendly Neighborhood Passive Line once again, uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Looks like we're in the clear, Captain. 
Victor's animated battles. But there's still something we're missing to get it working with our own projects. Luckily, Passive Line is here to show you just how to do that.